Let me get it. I snapped the line. How the hell did I get him in? Oh, oh, oh. No, yes, yes. Welcome back everyone. We are traversing our way at the moment through this uh, rocky coastline here off Mackay where I haven't actually fished before but I'm going to give it a go today just because I have finished my swing at work and uh, I just need to get out of the house. But welcome back to Days Off Adventures where I am showing you around my town and we're doing 101 things to do in Mackay show you guys around give you guys a gist of the place and hopefully you can come here and have a bit of an adventure as well so today we are literally on some rock cliffs here in a place called holiday bay now obviously always keep your safety going guys when you're walking and fishing along rocks we're actually in a tucked away part um, of the coastline so you don't really get too much rough seas. Obviously, you don't go fishing when it's cyclonic weather, but absolutely stunning. Something I want to show you before we get started. Um, this coastline, I was looking at these rocks before and it's like they're laser cut. It's like they were laser cut and, and it was just stunning. They just got these awesome little lines. You look at this cliff here. It's like this little bench carved out right here. And um, I just got a little bit of a popper on today. Funny story, we are fishing with a new rod today. I was actually filming an episode which, who knows, I might drop it. It wasn't much of a day because the first five minutes of me fishing, it was literally five casts. I bought two brand new lures and uh, first five casts into fishing, I got snagged on a log. So I tried a few tricks to get the lure off and then I mustn't have joined my rod together properly and the top half of the rod came apart and fell in the water and I kind of just had one of those days where I just wanted to give up but my mate Alan come down and gave me a rod and we fished for the day and not really wasn't really action packed but I'll actually throw it in <laughs> because this is why I hate fishing literally third cast and I get caught on a log and then half of my rod goes with the lure. It just came off. Like what the actual... <sighs> so I lost a brand new lure and half my rod. What the hell am I gonna do now? You guys know me and fishing. I'm not the greatest, but I just enjoy getting out and being amongst this. Look at this. Absolutely stunning coastline. And you can see right up there, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll show you a bit later, some of these rocks that are just like laser cut. And it's just awesome, awesome rock formations out here. But I, like I said, I've just got a popper on today and that's all we're doing. We're just gonna try and flick along these rocks, see what we can get. I don't know. I know on the other side of Holiday Bay, in between Holiday Bay and Ball Bay, is a green zone, so you can't fish there. But where I am now is a yellow zone, so I'm pretty sure it's one line per person. Just a bit of FYI for you if you come down here. So one line per person, and you can come along and fish on the left-hand side of Holiday Bay, in between that and Seaforth. But beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful day, a little bit of cloud aside, give us a bit of shade, but... I'm just gonna go along here and then probably go along that way around the corner, try and find some fish. If we catch one, we catch one. If we can eat it, we'll eat it. But we are just out today exploring, having a look. I'll show you these rocks in a second. But I'm gonna have a few casts first because I'm itching to get out here. And it's definitely picturesque 
view going on. So, mate, Mackay, just full of little gems. You just got to know where to look. I'm definitely going to move away from these slippery rocks. Last thing I want is to be cut up by oysters. But I think I'm going to try just up here on that edge there where that big rock is. Here we go. Just up here. Have a look at these. I'm going to throw a line in. Now look at these. Look at it. That's just from years and years of erosion from the wind and water. Let's put the rod down. But have a look at it. They're like straight line. Look at that. Straight line. And there was a part on the other side here where I was just walking through where like it was like cut on a 90 degree angle. But again, that's just the rock splitting of, of years and years of erosion. But it's pretty gnarly to look at though, because like, you know, even this cut here, let the rod down again. Have a look at this. Look how, look how straight that is. And they just absolutely look gnarly. They just, as they come over, there's heaps of them everywhere. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get back to throwing this rod in the water. And uh, see if we can catch ourselves a fishy fish. Ooh. That view's getting better and better. Woo. You can see the bay in the background. I will throw the drone up in a little bit, but I'll get to a place where I can be settled. Perfect drone flying weather, to be honest. It's not too windy. Look at this, this is a little swim spot. Look at the straight edge on that rock. I'm just absolutely fascinated by rocks today. But like, there is, there is, in here in Mackay, we do get, in the summer, we get attacked by the jellyfish and we do get the Irukandji. It's definitely not something I want to experience, but like in here, you could be pretty sheltered. Beautiful little swimming spot. Looks crystal clear. Might be something I'll, might be something I'll have to dive into later, but less talking, more fishing. The last thing you want to do is get hooked onto a turtle. I've had it happen once before. It's, oh no, it, it breaks my heart because it's, it's, they're such a majestic animal. You don't really want to um, injure them in any way, but sometimes it does happen. I'm getting splashed up here by the waves, but yeah, I always, I always try and avoid them. I know they, yeah, it just breaks my heart if you catch one because you know they're such a majestic animal and they're such calm and cool collective creatures that you just, you just don't want to hurt them at all. And sometimes it happens in fishing, but. Always try and do my best not to hurt them sort of animals. Oh, oh, oh. No, yes, yes. Oh. oh, I think I pressed stop instead of record but how you going boys Yoo! hey it was all worth it oh <laughs> yeah boy nice i think i pressed the right i pressed stop instead of record and oh 
just right on these rocks here. I knew it. I knew I should have stayed here. Gnarly. Let me throw him back in. Oh. And he's gone. Oh, I hope I fucking I hope I recorded that. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh worth it. And I snapped my line. I snapped my line and I got him in. How did that happen? Look. How the hell? Look. Look at this. Uh, let me get it. I snapped the line. How the hell did I get him in? I have no idea. That was fluky as hell. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was a little baby mackerel. I could be wrong. Roast me in the comments if I'm wrong. I don't care. I caught one fish today. <laughs> yes. I think I'm going to try again. I'm going to try again. It was just straight on. I, I don't know if I got it on record. Because I, I was, I think I was recording and then I might have pressed stop. And it stopped, but I wheeled it in. Yes! Super stoked for the day, super stoked for the day. It's all worth it. <laughs> One fish, love it. Righto, so you've done yourself a bit of fishing and uh, you need somewhere to take the kids also. So this is where Halliday Bay really, really shines. It's got a campground there with a, with a golf course on it, which is not bad condition. Um, very comfortable for caravanners at this place, as well as this beautiful beach that you would have seen in the drone shots. I'm actually just walking it now. Um, oh wow, look at this one, Ooh, that one's a keeper. So yeah, Halliday Bay is a great place to bring the kids, beach, they've got a, a swimming enclosure there so it protects you from the stingy and smally bitey stuff. Um, <laughs> couldn't ask for better weather today, just some days you just get really really beautiful weather. Oh, another good one. Look at that, what an awesome little shell. This beach is full of shells, I will say that. But um, yeah, Halliday Bay, bring the kids, bring it down. Camp the night at the caravan park. I'll leave a link in the description for Halliday Bay campground. Um, it is self-sufficient, but you get a beautiful view like this. Waking up to that early in the morning would be absolutely beautiful so do yourself a favor come down to Halliday Bay bring the kids bring your fishing rod bring your caravan bring everything beautiful place to come down beautiful way to end this episode so I'm gonna go hang out with the kids we're gonna blow up some toys and um, I'm gonna push them on the waves it's not very it's not a very wavy beach but you know the kids will enjoy it and uh, look at these shells Beautiful there. We've got two beautiful shells that I'm gonna keep. Honey, do you like Holiday Bay? Yes. Why do you like it? Because I like the beach water. And I like, I want to camp here. It's amazing camping here. I like camping here.
Go on, do you like Holiday Bay? Huh? Do you like Holiday Bay? No? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to come to this place a lot as a kid. You know, even Seaforth and that, which I will show you in another episode as we're touring around Mackay. So, guys, beautiful way to end this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Holiday Bay. What more could you ask for?